But we begin this morning with dangerous and deadly weather for millions of Americans this holiday weekend. Powerful storms producing heavy rain and damaging winds are taking aim at the eastern half of the country from Texas to Pennsylvania. A tornado was confirmed near Reston, Virginia last night. Thousands are without power this morning as several towns try to recover from days of devastating weather. In south central Pennsylvania, a building partially collapsed last night in Franklin County after severe winds and a possible tornado struck. There's no immediate word on injuries. Kenneth Craig is at Newark Liberty Airport in New Jersey, where more than 200 flights were canceled or delayed on the start of this holiday weekend. Kenneth, good morning. Well, good morning to you, Anthony. I can tell you there are a lot of frustrated passengers out here this morning, as you could imagine, including these folks behind me who told me they were headed to Florida until their flight was canceled just this morning. More than 1,700 flights nationwide were canceled yesterday, and now many of those passengers are scrambling to find alternatives on a busy holiday weekend. Residents in Reston, Virginia are cleaning up this morning after a tornado touched down last night, causing a tree to fall through the roof of a home. Luckily, no one was hurt. This really does look tornadic damage to me. This Steve Zubrick is a weather investigator for the National Weather Service. He was on the ground after the tornado hit. I would say we're probably in the 70 to 80 mile an hour range. Shakina Johnson of Winston-Salem, North Carolina was running errands when she received a call saying a tree fell on her apartment. Tree limbs sliced through the roof of the building, forcing seven people to find a new home for the night. First question was, was everybody safe and all right? But lucky the kids wasn't there because of the holiday. Rescue crews fanned out in Black Mountain after the city experienced heavy rain throughout the day. Severe weather is bringing misery to the south for the second weekend in a row. Not oh gosh. Tornadoes, high winds and pounding rains are destroying homes and leaving some communities without power. The storm system is being blamed for at least five deaths since Thursday, including an eight year old girl who was killed when a tree fell on a Florida home Friday morning. But a woman in Morton, Mississippi managed to survive even as a twister destroyed her home. This house behind us is totally destroyed with the exception of that closet that she was in. And it's really a miracle. The good news in all of this is that many of the flight delays and cancellations we were seeing just last night have died down significantly, but the day is young and most of the Northeast Dana is under a flash flood warning, so we are certainly not in the clear yet. Yeah, and a holiday weekend to add to that. Kenneth, thank you. We appreciate it.